I'm beginning to get the drift. Go get the gang and surround the house. Underly. I knew you were out there tonight. When I spoke the hardest words I ever had to speak. Read this when I've gone. And I hope it's not adios, manana. Jim. What's the trouble, Sheriff? You know, we're not in the habit of receiving this sort of a stampede into the peace and quiet of Santa Maria. No, and you ain't in the habit of receiving an outlaw, are you? An outlaw? That calls for an explanation. I think so, Patron. What is it in yourself? An outlaw in Santa Maria. Asking your pardon, Don Pablo and Miss Amalita. Uh, for this intrusion, but we just heard of an outlaw this way. We have reason to believe he's a member of the Diablo Negros gang. No, me neither. Is it possible? With all respect to you, Sheriff, any bandit knows that it's safer to face the law than it is us here in Santa Maria. Well, I ain't arguing that, McKim. I just know there's only one road leading into Santa Maria, and that's the same road out. So I'm sorry we're searching the place. Si, si, está muy bien. Perdóname. How do you care for Senor? Si, Senor. But I'm thinking by now, this bandit is wide and clear. What do you mean, Machem? That yonder back of the meat house, there's a hidden trail that drops into the ravine and leads to the open. You're kind of late with your information, ain't you, Machem? It was yours for the asking, Talbot. You haven't given me a chance. Well, I guess I'm taking that trail pronto. Go ahead. Oblige the sheriff. Gracias, Don Pablo. Hasta la vista. Buenas noches, amigo. Adios. Adios. <laughs> I'm sorry, Don Pablo, for this disturbance. And I'm more than sorry, Miss Carmelita, that your supper was so interrupted by the manhunters. Gracias, but this supper is finished. But not the coffee, Carmelita. Oh, vamos, papá. But Carmelita is cold. I have no soul. Sí, cariño, si está atendiendo al domés. Pardon me. But I have some work that I must attend to. May I join you later? We'll be waiting for you. Gracias, Don Pablo. 
¿Qué cuántos pesos, ¿verdad? Sí, está muy bueno. ¿Te gusta, no? Muy bueno. Aquí está su chat, señorita. No, gracias. But just now we don't make you say your call. Sí, pero just now with you, Papa, I am warm. <laughs> Vamos a tocar la cabaña. Ándale, manito. Don't you think you are uh, a little unkind to the man? You must understand. That we owe him very much, Carmelita. Ay, Padre mío, don Max. I fear nothing but the Max. From the time the sun come up until she go down, it is don Max. You forget me, that in my hands we were about to lose our Santa Maria. The buildings they are crumbled. The cattle, they were all gone. We are nothing but that. Then come the mess. The buildings they are repaired. The cattle, they are back in the rain. And the debt, they are being paid. Is it not true, Cardinal Richard? Thank you, Father Lewis. It is true. You know, you have meant much to our happiness. And our happiness would be complete if you too were kind to him. Are you inside, Father Mio? It is me. Make you happy. I don't know who you are or where you came from. But I do know this is mighty fine coffee. I'm also thinking it was mighty slick the way you shed your saddle and ended the trail right under the sheriff's nose. If this is a trap, stranger, you lose. If you'll do a little figuring, you'll put up them shooting irons and come have some of this coffee. It's much more sociable like. To me, you must have got an eyeful. Yep. See, ain't nothing happens on this branch I don't see. I ain't in the habit of receiving this sort of reception, stranger. What's the game? You're just a yearling. I understand. Pretty good coffee. What's the name you use? Smith. Jim Smith. Easy name to remember. Thanks. Guess I'll be dressed. Wait a minute. 
In two thought of taking unnecessary chances. Unnecessary chances? That reminds me of the night I doubled back on a posse, joined up with him, and then helped hunt myself for three hours. And filed a charter back off the sheriff. <laughs> That's quite clever, kid. How would you like to double back and be a real good cow hand for a change? Of course, you'd have to stay undercover for a bit. And I'd get you a new outfit. Then I'll bring you in on the buckboard. The Don will think you come here proper like. Well, what do you say? They've been dogging me for quite a spell, partner. So I reckon I'm your new cow hand. Along great, in walks her husband. And I'm a loco stare if he ain't the sheriff. <laughs> oh, oh. Boy, how'd you get out of that one? Well, I haven't met a man yet who can beat me to the draw. So I reckon you'll feel downright sorry for that deputy. Yeah. Yeah, I sure do. Whoa! The great Diablo, eh? $5,000 reward. They don't say much about him or what he looks like, do they? Nope, they don't. But they do say plenty about that Oklahoma cyclone. Cyclone meaning coming in sudden light, bringing a lot of wind. Light brown hair, blue eyes, stocky built, age 24. Light brown hair, blue eyes, Stocky bills. Sort of tallies with you, Smith. What's your real name? With a period. There's few men enjoy this privilege. Well, I'm feeling like a blushing female. Me doing all the shouting and riding with the king of the outlaws. I'm sure completing my education proper. You being the boss of Santa Maria, enjoying the cover of paradise and fooling the sheriff too. Pretty foxy, I call it. Speaking of paradise, the most important part of the rancho is the Don Bolton, Palmer Leaf. And I want you to understand that Carmelita is my particular business. Let's get going. Here. Yeah. Oh, 
He's just for the men I got here for the roundup. I think he's seen most beautiful. By the season. He looks crap being calm and entertaining. Who is him? What you know? Emilio! He's a man. Where is this cow man? Why, he's down at the bunk with the other men. Patron? Ray Hilda is the cantante que venga. Wait a minute. I'll stay away from the road Let it rain or shine The world is mine As I'm rolling along Well, how'd you like it, boys? That was pretty good, son. I've heard words, but I've got a mighty poor memory. Senor, Don Pablo, he wished that you come and sing for the Senorita Carmelita. Thanks, Don, and add that I'll be there at Pronto. Si, senor. You see, boys, no matter how much I try to be otherwise, I'm just irresistible. I'll see you sheep herders later. What is that word he said, Slim? Uh, you're a... You're a... You're a... You're a... You're a... Disable. Well, whatever it is, you do it just once too often. The boss will fill him full of holes. There won't be no wind left. <laughs> and My daughter, Carmelita. I'm glad to make your acquaintance. I am pleased to meet you, Senor Smith. You speak Spanish, no? Say, si, Senorita. I lived in Mexico for a week, and I met a bunch of Senoritas down there who taught me plenty Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that reminds me of one of your cowhand songs, Air Smith. No. That reminds me of a song one of them taught me. Will you please sing it for me, senor? Say, si, senorita. But the last time I sang this song, I was such a big success that I couldn't reach the border fast enough. <laughs> and when I got to the border... Smith, we're waiting for that song. The song of the rain. With the lovers, the one I left behind me, with love that won't change, she will wait till back in her arms she'll find me, the bloom on her face, and the moonlight is bright above, only for her. Deja que termine el señor. 
Siento però una cosa molto importante. Per me, se si non the way I ask Peter, there must be a mistake somewhere. Don't see how there can be. However, let's talk it over later. But this man is waiting, and I think we'd better go inside and talk with him. Very well, if you think so. You will excuse me. We'll be no, back that's out of it. Will you please sit down and finish your song, Senor Smith? With pleasure. The of Mexico when you sing so beautiful. I think they keep you there with the senoritas. But then I wouldn't have met you, Miss Carmelita. <laughs> oh, you don't tell me this. I think I know the vaquero. He rides to the window, and with his guitar, he sings. He makes you laugh. <laughs> then he sings. Adios, mañana, and make you cry. No? Yes, Mr. Smith. <laughs> Maybe you're right. You know, I don't stay in one place very long. But Marcy say you come to Santa Maria just for the wonder. That's right, Miss Carmelita. Then I guess it will be adios, mañana. That reminds me. Now I teach a song, Mr. Smith. Uh, Jimmy is my first name. Yes, Mr. Smith. Maybe you see me too. No, Jimmy. <laughs> Carmelita's handkerchief and Smith's shirt pocket. He's been meeting her down by the stream. I know, because I've seen him there. It probably had a lot of other music that I ain't seen. It's time for a showdown, boss. We ain't hiding no hidden aces around here. Ain't according to our code. What do you mean? Remember when you wanted to get rid of that Wilson fella? Remember how I picked a fight with him on the ranch? And we left him for the coyotes? Well, we're working the range tomorrow. 
That's what I'm going to Tomorrow. Here comes Smith now. I never see such an ornery critter as that local cow in your ball and chair. Like to never found him. You know, life is just one ornery cow or woman after another. There's no peace for a poor cow hand no more, Slim. Yeah, I know something ornerier than that. And I don't have to mention no name. But Rawhide means, Slim, is that Henri Cow's husband. You mean the bull, don't you, sonny? you're paralyzed, Rawhide. I'm tossing this harp in the air, and when it hits the ground, we're shooting from the leather. If I wasn't feeling so sentimental-like, I'd be seeing daylight through you now. You've been doing a lot of talking since I joined this outfit, and you think you're plenty salty. Well, I'm gonna break you and brand you. Come on. Get to him, Rawhide. Get to him. Come on, jump on him, Rawhide. Boss, I'm thinking this is a frame-up, and that you had something to do with it, or else you wouldn't have let that skunk insult the name of Carmelita. It's a kid, McKim, and Carmelita's plenty good-looking, but if it'll end this argument, I don't see her from now on. Kid, I'm going to take your word for it. That reminds me of a little song that's right fitting. And seeing you hombres don't like my singing, I'll see you later. Oh, it's out in Arizona where the bad men are. Well, there's nothing there to guide the bright evening stars. Well, the bright stars are all away. Well, I'm a son of a sheep herder if I ain't believing that boy's fairy tales from now on. That's right, pretty picture you made slide down that hill, Rawhide. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
back to the farm, Daddy? Oh, maybe. But I am happy with my friends here. Come on, Thank you. Thank you. Many, many happy returns of the day, Carmelina. We shall rest in... I can't say as I know of that either. It is very funny. I don't understand. Gracias, Adrian. Querida, we've been talking, Domek and I. And Domek has something he wished to tell you. Yes, Carmelita. I have waited all evening to tell you. I know. I remember. I have promised a dance to you. Maybe so. Please, come, Domek. That was wonderful, Carmelita. Perdona, señor. Señorita, tengo que hablarle. Pardon me, Don Ma. I must go. You won't be long? No, no. Not very long. Seem to be enjoying yourself, Shorty. Oh, that Jones one that weighs 400. It should weigh the pound. You don't know how to pick your dancing party. Is that so? <laughs> hey. Where's Smith? The boss gave him orders not to come. Afraid some of these town folks might recognize him. In that case, Rawhide, you won't have any trouble in joining yourself, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Señorita, el señor Smith me dio esto para usted. Muchas gracias. Talking about you and Carmelita. 
I can't get it all, but I get the raw hides of sickness so you and her meet tonight. And prove what he always knows. If you young ones are eleven. Then the yellow rattler asks, if such happened, would you ride? Well, the boss says, no. You finish your riding right there. So, man, just be careful, like, son. I ain't forgetting what you've done for me, Slim. And I reckon we're hobbled together from now on. That's it, Nephew. You know, son, I've run into some pretty tough umbries in my day. But there ain't no centipede as poison as that meant him. Take, for instance, that uh, Sheriff Henderson. Now, don't get me wrong, because I ain't over fun of no sheriff. But this Bill Henderson has a reputation of getting on your trail. And there ain't no end to that trail until he jerks a rope around your neck. He dogged uh, McKim for an exasperating spell, and McKim figured to get him and get him proper. So as the next sheriff, hearing about it, would ponder beforehand about uh, picking up that trail. Well, McKim gets his chance, and he bores him in the back. In the back? Yeah. And we toss him across the border to the Los Perez Plaza and leave him there to the rock. You know, son, I like getting to go leave your life and the shooting that belongs to it. But I always regret that unnecessary killing. I'm telling you all this, because after the night, I'm heading south. Ah, uh, what's the matter with you, Sam? Just fed up. I don't want you to think that I'm a preacher. But you're young. And there's a trail you can take. If you're listening. I'm listening. You know, when you're riding in the breeze, and the grass is green, and your knees are going to turn yellow. Time you were changing faster. <laughs> Say, that reminds me of a blonde I met about a month ago. You know, I'm trying to parse with a blonde thing. But a fellow likes a darker now and then by way of variety. You know. Well, this time I get too much variety. And our neck takes it plenty hard. And I left town in a hurry. <laughs> I'll bet you do. You play them all, huh, sir? Sure. Why not? Except when they get too serious, like. Take Mrs. Carmelita. That's why I laid off her. And the aggravating part was the way the boss kept riding me about it. Made me feel like a strayed cat. As if I'd get real serious over a mess. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me one time I was riding with an outfit. And we had a mix trip. I put salt in the pie. And I was quite used to that on. That was plenty hard to say. And raising your thighs, Sam. Well, I'm seeing you. 
looking at you for ten more. Hmm. That makes me look. Where's Shorty? And he went down to the barn. He'll be back in a minute. Go ahead. Where's Smith? I ain't responsible for that hombre no more. Didn't I leave orders for all you men to come here and stay here? Now pile out of here. That's Shorty. Find Smith. We're riding pronto. You get me? Doggone, I never had a full house in my life. If something didn't happen. <laughs> Carmelita, Carmelita, the Mexican. I knew you didn't understand when I said. I'm beginning to get the drift. Go get the gang and surround the house. Underlay. I knew you were out here tonight. When I spoke the hardest words I ever had to speak. Sweet is when I've gone. And I hope it's not adios, manana. I'm 
getting as loco as you are. Gentlemen, and for your more, you'll see it, Senorita. La Guerra. Ah, where's the Mazomo for the last setup? You know who I am? I am Pancho Gomez. Pancho Gomez? If you're Pancho Gomez, I am the King of Ireland. Come, give it. Where would you like to have them served? Well, this pizza is plenty but mild. Very plenty but mild. Here, that's for the drink. Here's for you, gringo. Now you are prepared. <laughs> <laughs> with it. He's a new boy riding with me tonight. And believe me, he showed me a new trick. We got away with a haul without even pulling a gun. Sort of unusual for me, ain't it? I should sure hope so. Well, you never get too old to learn, do you? Say, by the way, how's my friend the sheriff? Is he able to recognize visitors? Balin put it back. Good. Hey, boys, let's go upstairs for a minute. You better come along, too, kid. I think you'll like it. Well, 
Well, well. My old friend. Sit up, Henderson, for a little formal introduction. <coughs> Oklahoma, this is Sheriff Henderson, that great manhunter. So you're one of those fellas that hide behind a star, are you? Say, Henderson, I was afraid I wouldn't get to see you again before you croak. Are you still hankering to jerk that rope around my neck? You know, Smith, I sunk some holes in him. It'll end his suffering when he gets weak enough, <coughs> and it'll also go down in history as a little warning to the rest of them manhunters. Uh, but you ought to get him in the back. McKim, you never had guts <coughs> enough to stand up and shoot it out with me, man to man. But remember this, when I pass, there's plenty more good fighting men. <coughs> Take my place when I'm gone. Dry up. You talk too much. Say, tell him about me, will you, Mac? And add that the next star packer has a standing invitation to fight it out with a cyclone. Man to man. And a kid. Say, Henderson, we took your bag tonight and got hauled enough to live in the peace and quietness while the sunflowers are growing over you. Hey, kid, you got that mouth harp in your pocket? Sure, Shorty. Well, that funeral cue. I know Rawhide'll like it, even if the sheriff don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come on, let's have a liquor up. <laughs> Them's my sentiments, Slim. Uh, by the way, Henderson, are you enjoying my hospitality? <laughs> My boy, my boy. Cut my hand loose, man. Capture by the Black Diablo, so I beat it for home. Accidentally, I found out that Santa Maria was becoming suddenly prosperous, so your deputy and I framed the character of the Oklahoma Cyclone, and McKim fell for my line. I could have got him a dozen times, but I couldn't get to you without playing my hand out. So I waited 14 years until the night. Oh, son, son, do you know what you're up against? Do you know the dirty brute that you're dealing with? He's the most merciless rat God ever put breath in. Don't worry about me, Dad. Have you got a fighting chance? Yes, yes, I believe I have. 
You must go, boy. Go? When we go, we're going together, not at all. Buck up, Dad. Buck up. I left word with Carmelita, the Don's daughter. <coughs> right now, she is writing to your deputy. <coughs> Get him, boy. Slim, take those guns. You're ending your trail for good this time, kid. The only thing that chokes me is just how to make the end of that trail hell itself. Easy for you to figure, you black-hearted devil, but a man is helpless. Henderson, you give me an idea. I'm going to cut this son of yours to pieces with my bare fist. Go ahead, take him out of here. to give you a little special entertainment.
Sid, you and me is friends, ain't we? Sure, Smith. I just wanted to say it again. You remember what I said about the green grass turning yellow? Well, I'm changing faster. <laughs> 